In this video, I'll show you how to connect a USB drive or pen drive to your iPhone 15. Could be the 15, the 15 Pro, Pro Max, or even Plus model. So how to connect both of these? Well, most pen drives have a USB type A port like this one over here. And the iPhones have a USB type C port. So obviously you'll need an adapter. And the most reliable adapter I found is this Apple one. It's made by Apple and and just because of that, I think it gives you a peace of mind since, you know, your iPhone is made by Apple and uh, you won't have any compatibility issues on this regard. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one from Amazon. And to connect both, well, very easy. Whoops. You just have to connect your USB flash drive and then plug everything over here like that. Some USB thumb drive also have a USB type C port. So if you have one of these, or if you want to get a USB thumb drive that has a USB type C port, so you won't need this adapter, I'll put a link in the description of this one, which has a USB type C and a USB type A port. This way you can use it with many computers and switch and use it with your iPhone and Android phones. But in this example, I'll use this one over here. And you need to find the app that is called files. If you don't see it over here, browse around, mine is over here, files. If you still don't see it, go into the app library, tap over here and start typing files. When you open the app, you should have this screen over here. If you see this, tap on browse. You will get to the main menu. So press browse and then tap over there. Under locations, you should see your USB thumb drive. Mine is over here, HP V150W. This is this thing over here. Tap on it, and this way you'll be able to see every files that are on the USB thumb drive. If you have videos, PDFs, pictures, everything will be over here, including folders. If you want to copy the content of your thumb drive to the internal memory of your iPhone 15, all you have to do is to press these three dots, press select, select every documents you want, they will have a blue check mark, and then press the three dots on the lower right side, press copy three items, or maybe yours is five items or a billion items, tap on this, then click on browse, click on on my iPhone. This is the internal memory of your iPhone. I already have a, um, a folder over here, but if you don't have any folders, press these three dots, new folder, give it a new name. Okay, let's say this is my new folder. Press on it, and once you're over here, you just have to keep press anywhere on the screen. You'll get this message, this menu, sorry, and you're gonna have to tap on paste. And all the elements you have selected previously from your thumb drive will now be on your iPhone. So you won't have to keep it connected all the time to view them. If you want to transfer, let's say, some pictures that you have took on your iPhone on your USB thumb drive as a backup, let's say, it's easy as well. You need to open the photo app, the usual photo app you're always using, this one. Select the pictures that you want to transfer by clicking select on the top right corner and tap on every single of them you want to transfer. Then when you have select the pictures, you're gonna tap over here, this icon on the lower left side, and it will give you many options. What I suggest is you tap on copy photos. So the pictures are now copy. You need to paste them. So go back in the files app like this, go under your USB thumb drive, Tap anywhere on the screen and tap paste. It will automatically get paste over here. And the picture won't disappear from the memory of your phone. They'll be over there and on your USB thumb drive. Once you're done, you just have to disconnect. There's no button to press to disconnect it. You just disconnect it physically and you're good to go. And by the way, you can also connect a USB hub like this one. You see, it has multiple USB ports. This is a pretty basic one from Anchor. Again, I'll leave links in the description. You'll need to connect 
over here the adapter since this is not USB type C but if it was you can just connect it directly and here we can connect multiple USB thumb drive let me show you like this I'll connect this one too with the USB A port and if I go over here I'll see both of these thumb drive connected if I had two more well they will appear over here so you can have multiple thumb drives connected at the same time and you see both of these are usable so thanks for watching I hope this was useful if so please leave a like comment down below if you have other tricks regarding um, connecting a USB thumb drive to your iPhone 15 like this and uh, I'll see you in the next video thanks